everybody. Today's video is going to be about getting ultra blonde with highlights. Now my client has come in with her about four to five month old roots. She's super greasy, which actually makes it easier for me to section her hair out. And this is the perfect length of root for me to make her ultra blonde. And what's in the bowl is Schwarzkopf and 20 volume as always. I'm parting her into five sections, and that includes two diagonal back sections on the back side, uh, a mohawk, and a section for each of her sides around the temple and ears. And the reason being is I find that the smaller the section is, the easier it is for me to fit a lot more foils in. So I know this is time-lapsed, it's super fast, but here you can see my patterning, and I'm just doing slice weave, slice weave. In the very front of her hair, I did all the way around the face, four continuous slices though, no drops at all, because when you have this many foils in, you wanna make the money piece stand out, and this is how you do it. I always make my foils come a little bit closer to the root at the very top where the mohawk is, and then everything underneath is just a little further away so I prevent slipping and foil bleeding. So just a little hot tip for you. No clients are gonna notice, no one's gonna care. My client processed for another 30 to 40 minutes and she is perfectly white and it has a great blend in between her foils and her old color because we left enough room for me to fit enough foils properly into her hair. And my rule of thumb is to never let my clients come in too early because it's hard to fit on those foils. When I do slice weave, slice weave, I find that it gives a really great dimension to the hair because the slices end up looking bolder and blonder and the weaves end up looking nice and soft and they still leave a little bit of her natural hair color in there. The only way she's going to get blonder is for me to actually do a global bleach out on her hair, but that's not what she wants. She likes the once every three to four months appointments and she doesn't wanna do the every five week root appointment because her hair grows really fast. So in my opinion, this is the best way to get super ultra blonde without having to do a ton of maintenance on your hair by coming to see your hairstylist once every month and a half. I've heard a lot lately that a lot of stylists don't like pulling out foils at the sink, but it's honestly my favorite part of the whole thing. Like, it's so satisfying seeing how bright those foils got and to see how many of them I put in there. I always prefer to use a soft brush when I'm applying foils so that the bristles don't make a very hard line up at the root because it's gonna be a line anyways, which I find is pretty easy to blend in using a little bit of a darker toner on the root and then a lighter toner everywhere else. So now we're gonna go into my toner formulation after I clarify shampoo her hair. Now even though it looks a little stripy up front, the way that I've foiled her hair isn't going to look stripy when it's all toned and softly blow dried. Her hair is going to look amazing, so I don't need to do a shadow root. My formula today is Schwarzkopf 9.5-1 and 9.5-6-5, and those are amazing. I do equal parts, one to one with a six volume gel, and I apply in her root first and then I squish it all over the top and then I apply it to the very front of her hair so we don't get over processing up in the front and making her turn kind of pearly. So this is a really beautiful, sunny, bright blonde. This is gonna be the brightest blonde color you can get using Schwarzkopf. And I personally love it. I use it on almost all of my clients. Here I'm spreading apart her root to check how the toner is processing and I also like to look at how my foils are looking. If I happen to get a little foil bleed then that's when I'll go mix up a tiny bit of a darker toner that matches her root and apply it now. So this is just always why I part all over the hair, especially along her parting, just to double check my work. And I always like to see how the toner is processing everywhere. Sometimes it looks a little different when the toner is saturated versus when it's been scraped away. So here is what I'm doing. I'm just scraping it away to see. And it's the perfect color, so I'm going to wash it out and blow dry her. And here is the final results, everyone. I hope that you're all really liking how this looks. You can see very clearly where her slices and her weaves were, which gives her a really blonde but very dimensional look. Now you guys all saw how dark her natural color was. She was like a level six, seven. This makes it look like she's naturally level eight and she just has level nine, 10 highlight, which is the exact look we're going for. We're trying to make her as angelic as possible. What I really like about Schwarzkopf and 20 volume is that I can leave it in for a decently long time because I'm going with a low volume developer and I'm going slow and patient with my lifting process. I don't ever try to push the hair too much. 
I only do what's healthy for the hair in the one service. So my clients oftentimes do get to a beautiful, very light colored blonde with Schwarzkopf Blonde Me, which is why I pay the extra money for that product because it is an expensive product. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure to like and subscribe to our videos and leave us a comment if there's something you'd like for me to go into more detail about for this process. I'll try to make sure that I get a couple cameras on next time that I do someone's hair like this so you guys can see exactly more into detail how I'm foiling her hair.